shares in pub group Mitchell's Butlers fell in early trading after the owner of All Bar One and Nicholson's warned its margins were being squeezed in challenging trading. The FTSE 250 company said business had been more difficult in recent weeks after a strong summer and that margins for its full financial year would be below the prior year due to cost pressures such as rising wages and business rates. Spooked investors sent the shares down 5.6 pc to 233p in spite of having been warned previously that margins could be weaker. MB reported that liquor-for-like sales in the 51 weeks to September 16 rose 1.6 pc a marked improvement on the 0.8 pc decline in the prior year and ahead of the broader market. Chief executive Phil Urban said his company was continuing to work hard to mitigate the cost headwinds faced by the industry and thought profits would be in line with the board's expectations. Mr. Urban added the company entered the new financial year with solid sales growth and better clarity on pension contributions after changes to its scheme. The company opened 13 new sites in the period but disposed of 79 as it continued to reshape its estate. Broker Langton Capital said it expected profitability will be under pressure and noted J.D. Weatherspoon's chairman Tim Martin had said life for like sales growth needed to be between 3 PC 4 PC just to stand still in terms of earnings. J.D. Weatherspoon chairman Tim Martin has warned like for like sales of between 3 PC 4 PC are needed to offset rises in costs and grow profits credit Matt Austin Matt Austin evidence of a turn in the company's fortunes may be emerging but the markets are tough and getting tougher and the competition is not standing still Langton's Mark Brummy said he added the pub company still had an extremely attractive estate but still has much to do highlighting that trading over the autumn and christmas periods will be critical in deciding whether MB has finally turned the corner Analysts at Peel Hunt also trimmed its profit expectations for the 2017 financial year marginally and thought earnings would be flat in 2018 if the company achieved 2.5 PC 3.4 PC in liquor for like sales as well as up to £15 million in cost cutting. However, due to the tough consumer backdrop, we are cautiously forecasting no acceleration in LFL sales.